Good morning, and welcome to morning prayer from a little different setting for uh, Thursday, uh, October 19th. I'm actually recording this Tuesday morning after a morning walk here in Elkhart Lake as uh, pastors get ready for uh, first day of pastors conference, starting in just a bit with a worship service at our sister congregation, Trinity Lutheran um, in Kiel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. Keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. Into your hands I commend my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me give glory to God, our light and our life. Come, let us worship him. And the psalmist says, oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Amen. <clears throat> this is a scene that uh, greeted me um, this morning um, on my walk, uh, Elkhart Lake and the colors behind and the colors were actually very beautiful on our trip up here and couldn't help but sing the morning hymn on my walk. Um, every morning, mercy is new, fall is fresh as morning dew. Every morning, let us pay tribute with the early day. For your mercies, Lord, are sure. Your compassion will endure. Um, for today and tomorrow, I want to focus on encouragement. Um, <clears throat> and today, uh, thinking specifically about the encouragement that we can give um, one to one, encouragement. Um, to one another, and it, it comes to me in this way. Um, it's reading a post uh, by a dear Christian woman whose uh, husband is uh, entered into hospice care, and the post uh, gives, a, gives a hope. Uh, no one wants to see a husband with cancer. No one wants to see hospice care, but to have a hope um, of what Jesus has done for loved ones um, and the hope of eternal life in heaven and the hope not always for a happy life here, but the hope that comes with a, with a future that is secure. Um, this dear Christian lady put those words out on the internet. Um, she wasn't thinking of me, of course, that that was going to be an encouragement to me this morning, <clears throat> but of course it was. Um, I think of a pastor um, who is preparing for his daughter's funeral, and he too um, is an encouragement to me this day as he puts out a message of hope in the midst of unspeakable hurt and sadness and tears, the kind of hope that only the living and resurrected Lord Jesus Christ can give. And again, this brother puts those words out there and and. And those words hit home and, and they offer encouragement. And then, and this is why it's on the mind today, um, at a day and a half pastor's conference and you bump into some guys that maybe you haven't seen in a, in a year or some that you haven't seen um, in years, maybe since you went to school together. And I was just struck in some conversations already in our time up here, how often the phrase, how are you? And um, how often that is sounded and um, how how much of an encouragement that can be to have somebody who cares and asks how you're doing. And so as I think about this beautiful day and as I think about you, the folks at St. John's, and think about um, the opportunity you have um, to be encouragers this day, um, this time you spend this morning in prayer, this time you spend... Um, being encouraged by God's word, uh, this this hope that you have is certainly what allows you also uh, to be then an encourager to others. And as you go about your life, it's, it's not like, all right, how am I going to encourage everyone today? No, you get to be you. Um, you get to be rooted in Christ and you get to sound the cheerful and cheer-filled hope that you have in Christ. And in doing so, I promise you, that uh, the Lord will use his word in you and his word through you um, to be an encourager. Um, the time in his word this morning, may it encourage you and um, the word in your mouth 
and in your ears um, and in your actions. May it be an encouragement to those you meet this day. In the name of Jesus, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. All right. One last look at that beautiful lake. Um, and I'm going to go get ready to go to worship. Have a blessed day.